Last time on the Lazy Geckos. We welcome the kids aboard to start enjoying their stretch of lazy days, freeing their minds from their day-to-day -day responsibilities. We also showed you what we do on the hot days, we renamed our boat, and we took you sailing. We took the little geckos north to Amelia Island for their first real trip. Most of the trip was spent on the ICW, so we could show the kids what beauty this body of water really held. This waterway can be a bit sketchy at times due to our six foot draft, but thankfully it is maintained through dredging. We hooked up to a mooring ball in the northernmost city on Florida's Atlantic coast, also known as Fernandina Beach. This was the first time that Jessica and Trevor felt what it was like to spend a week without having land at their doorstep. While Chaco chilled on the beach, we explored the history of Fort Clench State Park. The amazing condition of this fort will bring you all the way back to 1864. They do an outstanding job at reenacting life during the Civil War as you explore the rooms, galleries, and grounds of the fort. The park's three-mile shoreline offers a wide range of family activities. It's something that you don't want to miss if you're ever in the area. Someone holds on to the boat and you tell them where to go and then take the, the white rag and then as you can see the bucket with the white stuff you dip the rag in it you take it and you rub it against the um, side to side all the way down into the water line again and again all the way around the boat was it hard <laughs> holding the boat and everything yeah. yeah is the boat a lot cleaner yeah this is the cleaning product we used on the hull it works amazingly uh, took it right off off hardly any scrubbing we probably used about three quarters of the bottle the bottle was around twenty dollars and we have nothing to do with this company i just wanted to give you guys like a tip and let you know how good it is our friend tom recommended it it is made by mary kate and it's called on and off hall and bottom cleaner right now i am hand stitching the dodger because the threading is coming undone and I'm gonna wait until we pull into a marina and take it all down and I can lay it out on the dock and redo it with the sail right. So for now, I am just hand stitching at our beautiful mooring ball. It's looking good. My dad here, he told us as a crab and he told me to get our net, so I grabbed it. We went down, we tried to get it, and then it, tried, it swam away trying to go against the current. And then it got back on our depth sounder, so my dad skipped it up. And now we are boiling some water, about to eat our crab. 
so we got a net the other day because we've been seeing crabs running around and we wanted to catch one, grab it, and eat them. So we found one and we caught them and I am going to add them to the gallon of boiling water and you're supposed to add one fourth cup of salt. And I added some Old Bay because we like Old Bay, that's why the water looks a little rusty. And we're going to boil him for about 18 minutes and try him out. There's a lid right there so she doesn't have that. Hey. It's boiling right now. We're all gonna test it out a little bit. It's already turning red. It already looks like a crab that we buy, you know? Look at that. Fold it like that. A little piece of meat there. Here, who wants that? Me. Jessica takes it. Pinch down this little half and then break it apart. And then here's all your meat. They also have meat in the claws that you'd use a little pincher for, whatever, but fresh crab. All right, Jess, you're going to be our tester. Go for it. <laughs> How is it? But good? Is it just as good or better than the ones that we used to buy? It's fresh. Fresh. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's good. For all you guys that watch our channel, I'm sure you know about our Vimeo channel. We run, run contests on there frequently. And of course, if you're a patron, you also get access to all of our contests. They're a lot of fun. A lot of people enter them. We get a huge amount of feedback. So, I mean, check us out on Vimeo or on Patreon and you'll figure out how to do all of those. All you patrons out there, if you're not getting all of the updates as far as the contest that we're running, just ask me and I will be happy to share with you and chat it up. We just got to Cumberland Island. We took the dinghy over from where we're mooring on a mooring ball and we came in on the ferry dock because it was free. However, there is a $4 uh, fee for anybody who's 15 and older and it gives you a seven day pass. You get a little piece of paper to show. We got to the main area and now we're taking a walk. We could have dinghied over to the next dock, which where the museum is, but instead we decided to take a walk. It is three fourths of a mile one way and three fourths of a mile back. It's great though, because we need some time to get on land and walk around. Cumberland Island is Georgia's largest southernmost barrier island. It's filled with wild beaches, freshwater lakes, saltwater marshes, and pristine maritime forest that are so quiet you can literally hear yourself breathe as the sunrise filters through the live oak trees. As you walk, you can hear and see wildlife scurry about. These historic grounds are home to many raccoons, owls, birds, sea life, and of course the wild horses. Doors in 1903. Uh, it was the premier captain's bar at the time, um, the who's who of, uh, of, of bar patrons right now in the palace, from the Carnegie's to the Rockefellers. Wow. Absolutely. Um, there's just a ton of great history here. The bar, everything you see here, is virtually all original to the day. The bar was actually overseen and crafted by Adolphus Bush. Um, he was good friends with the owner and he helped to, uh, to build this bar in St. Louis via German craftsmen and it was brought by train here in its entirety. Now you know us geckos, we couldn't pass up the Palace Saloon, which was originally constructed in 1878 and is known as the oldest bar in Florida. Once a shoe store, the shelves were replaced with booze. It was a true gentleman's establishment. Amelia Island has a quaint little charm, offering 13 miles of pristine beaches, abundant wildlife, and clear, calm waters. You must come visit this little island to understand why it has consistently been among Florida's highest ranked island destinations.
next time on The Lazy Geckos. We take the lazy gecko offshore to stretch her legs a bit. Then we sail south to St. Augustine, Florida. Hold on! <laughs> we will spend the week in St. Augustine playing, exploring, and using our imaginations to take you around this quaint little city, also known as the oldest city in the United States. Patrons, thank you so much for your dedication to helping us along in our journey. Our PayPals continue to show us added support through their donations. Please contact us for unlimited access to our uncut footage. These are the days of the open highway. These are the nights of the cloudless sky.